Okay, here's the tricky part here with the obtuse one. Again, we did the acute one. The one of an obtuse and the one of an acute, they don't have the two triangles that we're going to be using. And then we are going to have something like this here. If we say, what is this one here? We all agree with this one here, it's angle B. This one here is angle B. Okay? And then we'll call that one angle B. And then from here, they say, would you prove that in any obtuse angles, uh, A, B, C, B squared. B squared, we're going to start with B again. Now, how do we prove this thing here? We're first going to start by constructing again. So we're going to say in our construction from B. So on our construction, we're going to have from, we're going to, from, from C. Ne? We're going to draw a line C, D, uh, such that it's going to be such that it's going to be perpendicular to A, B, and then we'll let C, D to be equal to H. So this is what we're going to do. Construction. And then here you make this such that you have a 90 degree angle here. Here, you're going to have nine degrees. And then here we have D here. So this is our construction. Now on our construction then, uh, by the way, sorry about that. Uh, we, we're supposed to start by naming the triangle, sorry about that. So if we name this one, this one is opposite to this one, it's A again. And then this one here is going to be small letter C. And then this one here is going to be small letter what? B. Everyone still here again. Okay, now we are going to ident identify the right angle triangles that you have. Identify the right angle triangles that you have. So you have triangle CDB. Okay, okay we're going to make CDB to be raised. So we have something that looks like this. So we have C and then we have D and then we have what? B. Everyone is still happy then. Okay, the other one we're going to make it to be blue. Is there any other tri uh, right angle triangle that we have? We have C. D A again. So we have C D A, this one. So we'll make that one to be blue in color. So it looks something like this. So here you have C, here you have D, and then here you have what? A. Okay, here if we update our diagram, we said this one we're going to make it to be H again. So this one here is going to be H and A. This one here is going to be H and B. Something like this, okay? Okay, now what is the challenge here? What is the challenge here? Is that we need to know which, what is going to be this angle here. You see this angle here? What is going to be that angle? If this one here is B, what do you expect this angle to be here in terms of B? 180 minus B. Yeah, so this is going to be 180 degrees minus what? Minus B. In fact, even in the one when off sign, when we we're doing the one off sign, we we're supposed to do it this way, mm -hmm. which we have 180 minus B there. It's just the reason why I didn't show you that one. It doesn't matter because 180 minus B sign is always going to be positive. So it didn't really make that much of a difference. So yeah, on this angle here, you don't have B. This angle here is not angle B, but it's 180 degrees minus B. And then this one here, it's nine. Okay? And then this one here is going to be our hype side. So this one is a hypotenuse side. And then even this side here, you have a hypotenuse side. Okay? Now, if this one is a hypotenuse side in relation to, let's, let's stick to the red one. In relation to 180 minus P, this one here is going to be what to opposite. Okay? This one here is going to be what to? This one is going to be at J set. Okay. Because we have angle B here, here we don't have angle B. We're going to get all our angles. We're going to get all our trick ratios on this triangle, the red one, because it's the one that has P. Okay? This one here, it doesn't have angle B, it has the side B. So you're going to use theorem of Pythagoras on this one. Okay, let's start with the one of rate. We're going to tell them which is the sine of 180 degrees minus B is going to be given as opposite. Okay? What is opposite? It's H all over hypotenuse side, which is what? A. 180 minus B, we can reduce this. Where is 180 minus B? On which quadrant do we find it? On the second quadrant. What can you say about sine? Positive. Yeah, then it means which we are going to have A, the sine of B, which is going to be equal to our term H. Sharp, okay? Mm. Now, not only do we look for H, since we are looking for a cos rule, okay? What else are we going to look for? We are going to look for cos, okay? Now, we're going to tell them which is the cos of 180 degrees minus B is going to be given as adjacent, okay? What is adjacent? DB all over A, which is the hypotenuse side. Now, 180 minus P, where do you find it? 
What can you say about cos in the second quadrant? It's negative, okay? Yeah, and then if you cross multiply here, it says which you are going to have minus A, the cos of B, like this, which is going to be what to be? BD. But you know, we don't want PT, okay? Yes. It doesn't change sign. No, it's not, it's not a core function, okay? So it just reduces, it can't change it. Remember, it's 90 and 270, which are going to change. Okay, um, now that we got these two, okay, so we have minus cos of P, okay, which is going to be PD. Now we tell them, okay, we know what is this one here. What is this one here? This one here, it's minus A, the cos of P. Now we want DA, okay? How would you get DA? DA is this one, starting from here to here as a trick ratio. What is going to be DA? I guess it's going to be this one plus this one. So I'm going to tell them what is going to be C plus this one, okay? Then you're going to get minus A, the cos of B. So starting from D up until to A, it's going to be given as C minus A, the cos of what? Of, of mm. B. And then we know what is H. So what are we going to write in terms of H? This can be written as A, the sine of what? Of B. So now that you have your right angle triangle, then you can use the theorem of Pythagoras. It says which you're going to have B squared, which is going to be given as H squared, okay? Plus DA all squared. But we know what is H, okay? What is H? A, the sine of B all squared. I'm going to say all squared, repeat it two times. Eh? A, the sine of B. Plus, here, DA, we know what is DA, okay? DA, it's C minus A, the cos of angle B. And then multiply by C minus A, the cos of B. And then from here or not, if you work this one, this one multiplied by this one, it gives us A squared, okay? And then it says, which is the sine squared of B. Plus, if you work out this, if you fall here, now we already know how to fall, okay? This one multiplied by this one, it gives us what? C squared. This one multiplied by this one, it gives us minus two. I get it going to repeat itself two times. Minus two A C the cos of B. And then if you say this one multiplied by this one, it gives us plus A squared, okay? The cos squared of angle B. And then again, we can say this one and this one, we're going to group them, okay? If you group those two, you take out a common factor. You are going to have a squared as a common factor, and then you're going to be left with sine squared of B plus cos squared of B, like this, okay? And then it says which is plus C squared minus 2AC, the cos of angle B. Now, this one, it's an identity, okay? If this is an identity, what are we going to have? We're going to have a squared, okay? Plus C squared minus 2ac, the cos of what of, of b. And then we are officially done with this one. Then we can do the following as an activity then. We're going to do activity number four as an activity.